The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. Today we're going to explain when you have to attend court in order to get a divorce and when you don't. Uh, it really depends on whether the divorce is uncontested or contested. An uncontested divorce is a divorce in which the parties have agreed ahead of time to all issues through a joint parenting agreement and a marital settlement agreement. If there's nothing that has to be tried in court, nothing that's in dispute, then only one party has to attend court. At, and that's going to be the petitioner, the person who filed for divorce in the first place, has to attend the final hearing with his or her attorney. Um, the petitioner will go and, and basically uh, testify as to the identities of the parties and the terms of the agreement, and the attorney will verify the terms of the agreement. And as long as the other spouse has signed all the necessary paperwork, he or she doesn't need to attend. And that's all. Uh, there's, uh, th that's the only time they'll need to attend. Uh, in a contested divorce in which not all of the issues are agreed upon by the parties and some issues have to be heard through trial at, at court, there's two times uh, minimum that parties will have to attend court. Uh, the first is a pretrial settlement conference, and this is a meeting between each party and uh, the attorneys and the judge, and the judge will try to bring the parties together to reach an agreement on the issues that are still in, in contention in order to avoid having to have a full-blown trial on those issues. And if the parties reach a, a settlement, that's great, and that, that may be the only time that they have to appear in court, uh, the, the, the attorneys can then enter all the paperwork. Um, if the parties don't reach a settlement, then any issues they're not able to resolve through the, uh, through the pretrial settlement process uh, will have to be tried in court. And there's going to be a, a final hearing at which each party appears and the attorneys present the evidence for, uh, for why they should win on the issue. And then the court will issue a final ruling. So the, in a contested divorce, there's a, a two times minimum, the pretrial settlement conference and the final hearing that both parties have to attend. Um, unless everything is resolved through the pretrial settlement conference. Um, there may be other times throughout the divorce process where the parties have to attend if there's a hearing on a particular issue, you know, like temporary relief on, a, on you know, child support or, or a temporary order for uh, parental visitation and custody and allocation of time and responsibility. There may be sporadic times throughout the case where they have to attend, but there's two times minimum in a contested divorce. And an uncontested divorce, again, only the petitioner has to attend with his or her, her attorney. So thanks so much for listening. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Uh, please review us on iTunes, subscribe to us on YouTube, and uh, feel free to call us for an initial consultation, 630-324-6666. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.